I've been training uh, physicians and other healthcare professionals for 20, 25 years now and we use a number of techniques to teach them how to work with their patients who have alcohol or drug problems and it's, you know, we use lectures and we use role plays and we do demonstrations but it's, it's somewhat passive and one of the challenges we face with physicians is to get them to practice the words to say things over and over again because many physicians just aren't comfortable talking to patients about some of these difficult topics. So this technology really goes beyond anything we've ever been able to do before. It's much more adult learning style. It's much more interactive. It's much more realistic than anything we've ever seen before. We have a fairly big research group at the University of Wisconsin and we work with lots of different kinds of people around the country and it's really been a pleasure to work with Submersion that they have a very professional staff, uh, very competent, they're timely, you know, it's very easy to communicate back and forth and uh, you know when we set a timeline up they follow through and, and get things done. You know this technology really can allow physicians to practice some of these techniques that we, need to, you know, we know do work and can, can make a difference. There's a list of, of topics like alcohol, like drugs, like depression, domestic violence, you know sexual questions, HIV risk that are very difficult to train uh, providers how to be comfortable with those kind of topics and you know, many physicians just don't do a very good job with those things both because they didn't have the training, they're not very comfortable with it, they're not sure what to do, they're not sure what words to say, you know, they're not sure how to have conversations about kind of those tough subjects. And, you know, this technology really could dramatically change how we train physicians. You know, it's the interactive um, nature of it. It's you know, it's the ability of the um, program to sort of draw you into the computer, basically, and, and, and basically feel like you're talking to a live person. That uh, that it becomes quite real. You know, it's not just a it's not just a, a fake patient or a standardized patient or a script. It becomes very very realistic. I think that's really the strength and the innovation of this thing. And we have nothing like that in the field that I've ever seen.